Namaste friends. So in today's lecture, we are going to learn about application of Raman spectroscopy. So Raman uh, spectroscopy is widely used in various uh, industries such as biomedical industries, pharmaceutical industries to find out the chemical structure of the drug. Okay. By studying the Raman spectrum, we can find out the exact bonds, uh, number of atoms in the molecule also. Then it is used in material science, forensic science to find out the crime, gemology, geology, mineralogy and archaeology. It has the wide applications. Why? Because of the advantages of the Raman spectroscopy. Now what are the advantages of Raman spectroscopy? It can easily find the chemical structure and bonding. So therefore it is also called as the fingerprint technique such as the IR spectroscopy. Second application, second advantage, okay. the uh, samples can be used in solid as well as in aqueous nature. Okay, you can prepare the aqueous sample of uh, your analyte, or you can directly use the solid sample of the analyte. Okay, why aqueous sample is used? Because the water is a uh, less Raman scatterer. Now, next advantage is it has little preparation, little sample preparation or absolutely no sample preparation is required for the Raman spectroscopy. This technique is non-destructive in nature, non-invasive in nature. Non-destructive means, okay, you can get your same sample back, okay, without losing any character in it and it is widely applicable for the various materials. Now there is one limitations about the Raman spectroscopy, okay. It is not applicable to the to the molecule which uh, do not show change in polarizability during its vibration and rotational motions. So again Raman spectra is weak in nature. It is weak in nature as compared with the microwave spectra and the IR spectra. Why? Because it has a poor resolution. It is difficult to identify the difference between the Raman lines. Okay. So, thank you for watching this session.